here. Alright, and we do want to hook up to what is currently a useless six lane highway. Or a six lane roadway. Uh, not like that though. Alright, let's. Am I starting to run out of money? No, we've got good income. Let's go and zone this while I figure the rest of that out. Jasto is endorsing the roundabout plan. We can definitely give that a go. First, let's leave some space for this to actually attach. Bring that down over here. That is quite the slope. Um, but let's see, roads. Get this hooked up. All right, so now this industry has a choice of going on what could potentially be a nice speedy route or crowding in on this little residential street here. Uh, this is connect. Too short a distance, too steep a slope. Well, that's a little unfortunate. All right, well, eventually this six lane will be put to use, but right now it's been a bit of a expensive and unused project. I mean, there's that one little green truck that's using it, so I'm sure he was appreciative of that. Zebra wants to see some bus lanes, and these guys are having trouble with their garbage pickup. What's the status on my garbage? Landfills starting to get full. Um, we could institute recycling, and I guess it is a little far away from the landfill. Maybe that's the problem. All right, let's uh, go and tell them to uh, do a bit of recycling. So let's do the mouse over on that. Slightly reduced garbage accumulation, uh, accumulation, slightly reduced income tax. Hmm, although we are having a garbage problem. Is it the traffic? Is it because our garbage trucks are getting stuck? Our traffic problem is really bad here. All right, let's, let's think about this a little more. Well, first of all, buses make sense. Um, people are just having trouble getting to work. If we relieved some of that, well, let's put in some alternate connections here. Maybe a road in over this way. And then we'll get some buses going too. Okay, so let's play with the bus lines. Bus depot. That's uh we can put that right off the main highway here. It's noisy, so we don't want it near residential. Uh right here is fine. Alright, now for bus stops. Let's see. People need to get to work. We'll have a bus line that drops people off right here. Let's see, what side of the street is that on? The right side. All right, so we'll plan the uh, residential pickup first. Let's drop a bus stop right here. And then maybe one over here. See, it's very fussy about what side of the street I, the street I drop on, right here. And then maybe one over by the school in the park, say down here. We'll have a nice little circular loop on our small town. A circular loop bus, pick people up or drop them off, say over here. And another pickup over here perhaps. And then into the industrial region. And then we'll finish the loop out. All right, there we go. So we've got a loop that could pick people up. It's not the fastest way to get to work, um, but you can uh, play on your smartphone, read the newspaper while you do it. But I doubt that helped with traffic. So, these people need to get onto the sixth lane that I built for them. But what I didn't realize when I was building it is that we needed to raise the grade 
and thus can't actually hook up here. Like, just one connection right here would probably relieve a lot of stress. How am I gonna fix that? We'd have to bulldoze some industry. Hmm. Well, that's a little distressing. All right, let's think about this traffic problem a little more. We'd have to bulldoze. Everyone's getting stuck up here because they have to, because of the stoplight when the people entering the city want to get in. So we could play with some one ways. Like we could have turn force everyone to exit the city via this and turn this into a one-way entrance only. Seems like something that industry would be really unhappy about. But we could test it. All right, let's turn this, pause this. Get rid of this connection here. And turn this into a one-way. One way straight from here to here. All right, let's see how they react to this monstrosity. Okay, so we don't have the same problem as before, but we still have problems. Now, instead of the problem being to the left of our six lane, it's to the right. People really want to get onto the six lane. That that makes sense. Uh, and it looks like these guys. I don't know why we have so much traffic here. Uh, perhaps if we gave them another way onto the six lane, but I think that that'll only add to our problems. All right, let's let's try that. Let's give them another way on. does put in a stoplight here. They're still exiting just fine. Landfills are getting full. We're going to need another one. All right, fine. Another dump. And we can drop that on our little wind farm hill. Maybe not so close to the water. That does seem like a losing proposition. <laughs> right at the entrance of town. Not really the kind of reputation we want to be promoting for our city. All right, well, on the other side of the hills, any seepage from the landfill hopefully will go away from the water. Anyways, it will be downstream from our water pump, so we'll drop, drop that right here. Let's look at the traffic. Still really bad. We could have... I don't know, we could leave the six lane here, put a highway in here to connect up with new industry. Uh, but we have all sorts of residential demand, so let's let's work on that next. We'll, we'll up our tax base a little more, and then we'll fix our traffic situation. Or try to fix our traffic situation. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a difficult problem to solve. And these, the guys over here aren't too happy. We're having trouble getting the garbage picked up from the more distant parts of the city. And that might tie into traffic. Although this guy is having problems with garbage pickup as well. Is it because the landfill is full? Let's... Landfill usage is at 52%. Um, apparently we could incinerate garbage too, but that is currently locked. We need to reach 7,500. What's our population at right now? Uh, we're halfway there, or almost halfway there. Um, so we'll have to deal with the dumps for now. Zebra wants a small one-way road so they can come back on the six lane. Let's look at traffic again. 
All right, so our sixth lane is getting used, which is what I want. But, and in some cases, all three lanes are actually being used, which is nice. And then that truck did something really weird. Okay, um, hmm. This is a zoo. We've got some abandoned industry. All right, well, we'll take care of the residential demand first, because that gets us money. And then we'll play around with traffic. Okay, so, um, residential. Then we'll check on the water pipes. But the whole garbage situation. Okay, the garbage is getting taken care of. It was just uh, because of the distance from the garbage dump once it built the second dump. It took a while for the garbage trucks to get out here, but I think that problem is solved. What's our electricity looking like? Electricity and water. We might have to build some more capacity in soon as well. Ah, we have the option to buy land. So, uh, we mentioned earlier that we can expand into some of the neighboring regions. The most logical would probably be to abandon our current city and pop in a new city over here and build, build more intelligently now that we know uh, potentially some of the traffic pitfalls that we've been facing. Um, but let's uh, close that off and worry about growing our tax base. Ah, uh, Massive Effects, sorry to disappoint, this game is still on pre-order. Uh, it does go live in a couple days, or three days, on March 10th. Um, so you'll be able to play it, de it then. So many abandoned industry uh, buildings, and probably it's because they don't have enough people working for them. We do need to build out some more industrial well, not industrial. We need more residential and more commercial. So let's take a look at our zones again. Um, we could do with some more commercial down here. And get some nice lakefront property going. Let's start on some lakefront property. Good. And we can do a dirt road for the center here. Alright, so commercial. I'm sure the commercial shops don't want a dirt road. We can put uh, some commercial, some nice lakefront commercial property. Maybe it doesn't need to be quite that much. Let's uh, Let's just do, do this, and then the rest will be residential. And what's going on here? Dollar sign. Is that a good dollar sign or a bad dollar sign? Uh, it's probably a bad dollar sign. Uh, low land value. They need something else around here to make them happy. Uh, we could put in some more parks, maybe. They already have a medical center. They already have a fire department and a police department. All right, well, let's worry about the pipes first. Mass Effect wants to see some curvy roads. We can do that. Perhaps a curvy road right here to meld us into the grid pattern we've got going. But these guys have power, they have water. Still good there. Okay, crossroads and intersections are too close to each other and can cause congestion. Yes, we're definitely seeing that. Oh, and what happened here? This guy burnt down. Um, is there a way I can check on how effective my firefighting is? My firefighting is not very effective. All right, so I think these homes could do with a fire station, another one, and probably industry needs some of that too. Right, so what's our coverage looking like? We could build one over here. 
over here in the center of town would be best. Alright, so I think since this house is abandoned anyways, that's a perfectly good time to bulldoze that. Put in a fire station. And maybe true for these guys as well. Although that's really eating into my budget. Alright, our industry can burn. Oh, the problem is that the fire station doesn't have good access to this side of town. Hmm. We could build an overpass. Would that help with our traffic? Traffic problem at all? E not really. Although, traffic is looking better. It somehow solves itself. Maybe people just moved out of the city. Yeah, a bunch of the industry shuttered themselves. That's why we don't have a traffic problem. Well, that's not good. So, industry gave up on this town. They said, um, the traffic here is just too terrible. But our population hasn't dropped down because the residents, our residential area, uh, is still good. Alright, well, uh, we should at least provide these guys with access to the fire station. And that might mean building an overpass. Having this industrial ghetto is not good. But our demand is in residential, so we'll build out some more residential. Okay, so let's see. Roads, including curvy roads, as the chat demands. Let's see. We want it to go over like this. There's one nice curvy road. And do I want another set of curvy roads over here? Sure, let's see what this ends up looking like. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Alright, some curvy roads there. And we'll stick a maybe a curvy dirt road. Or just a regular dirt road. Straight roads and more residential. Alright, so let's have a look at the water pipes again. These guys all need water. Whoa, what's going on? Massive water problems? No, nope, we're, we're still at capacity. And looks like every tile underneath that house. Oh no, they're fine. Water needs are met. No industry means no jobs. Hmm. We could bulldoze this whole thing. And move, make an actual highway, move it back slightly, and then build out the connections. Well let's let's have a look. What what services do we have here? This is our fire hall and our police station. So we can't bulldoze those, but we can definitely bulldoze Let's see, this little burger joint, the Big Bite. Oh, this is a leveled up building. Hmm. Two over-educated workers. Alright, let's, uh... We're gonna do a pause, and put in a new set of roads here that aren't so elevated that they'll actually be able to connect to the industrial ghetto. And while we're at it, we'll probably replace that whole section with highway. Alright, let's do that. Do we have enough money for a big construction project? 76,000. Mm, I don't know if that's enough, but we'll try. Alright, so let's pause the game. And we'll start by bulldozing everything that's red. And we'll replace the six lane with a highway. I don't know if it needs to be a highway. I do like this little overpass thing, so we'll keep that. So into the city, we'll have a highway running down like this. These guys need, well, we'll lose it all. The problem is that I might not have enough money to replace everything. Let's see if a highway fits here first before we do anything else. Okay, so that's a multi-lane highway. This is a highway ramp. Hmm. 
Maybe it's highway ramps that we need. No, those are tiny. We don't need a highway ramp. Alright, so maybe it's going to be six lanes. But we'll have... Well, this is the, the problem with intersection, so we definitely need to demolish this. And we're getting rid of some of this commercial that's going to be in the way. Whoa, and for some reason that's making people happy. Or at least there are green smiley faces. Maybe it's happiness is affected, but not in a good way. Okay, so we need to remake this so that it's actually connected to the industrial zone. We can't... Did I just... Okay, so this, this is the fire. This is... What is this? Well, we don't want to check by demolishing it. It's the bus depot. So we don't want to demolish our city services, but we can maybe relocate that just over slightly. Ah, that wasn't so bad. Hey, let's just relocate all of these guys. Um, over to, I guess, beside the bus depot. For now is fine. Uh, we'll leave that where it is. Okay, so we've got a lot of place, uh, space to play with. We've got the sixth lane for leaving the city. It is uh, both directions, though. All right, let's not worry about highways. We'll stick with the six lanes, but we'll just make them far enough back so that they can actually connect up with the industrial zone. All right, six lane, both directions. Let's see, I build this over here. Well, let's build a little chunk first and see if it can actually get hooked up. Uh, or maybe use a highway on-ramp as, as an option. That might be interesting. But people do want to get both on and off, so... I just have to use a regular road, but the connections are possible. So, all these intersections are still going to cause us the same problems as before, but at least industry will have access to the six lane uh, at more frequent points. Let's see. Too many intersections isn't going to be good. Space already occupied. So we'll bring this all the way down and look up to here for now. And we'll have a couple connections to the sixth lane, which we couldn't have before. Alright, so this doesn't look better. But since industry has access to the sixth lane, it might run better. We could get rid of this connection here. Well, let's see how that runs. Alright, but we still need the connection to the city. Uh, hmm. Entrance, force them in around this way. Let's see how that will work for us. Let's that. One way. And we can bulldoze this stuff too. Alright, well, we'll leave it like that for now. That This is actually not good, but... Um, and we'll have a one-way street here. Going from here to here. Alright, let's see what this looks like. We didn't actually end up spending down that much money, so we can definitely play around with more road building later. It is pretty much the same as before. Um, but, with the only improvement being that uh, these guys are hooked up. Um, and I wanted the fire station hooked up here. Um, hmm. Do we have space to put in a road on this side? The building has been burned down. Okay, let's look at the traffic flow. 
Now, oh man, now we've got major, is, is this a highway accident? Or, okay, so they go from a six lane one way to, but then they have to merge down. Okay, so that's, that's a big problem. When people enter the city, where do they want to go? They want to go to the industrial area. So they need access to this road here. Uh, let's do a highway on-ramp. From here to space already occupied. A one-way from here to here. Okay, that seems to be a little better. But the traffic seems to have destroyed our industry. No one wants to work here because our traffic is broken. And now our problem spot isn't this intersection, although it's not great. It's this intersection. Because that seems to be the main entrance into and out of the industrial area. Okay, so I think some of the problem is I'm trying to fix a problem when I've already made the city. If we were to remake the city, say by buying this area, how would I go about this in a more organized fashion? At least people still want to live here. We've got a lot of residential demand. Let's, uh, let's lower the industrial tax rate and, and try to attract more people to our city again. Let's drop that down to 11%. And we'll go and build out some more residential. All right, let's see if the, see you later, Star of Hope. See if people have any good suggestions for fixing our traffic problem. Let's leave the traffic. Well, it's actually looking a little better right now. Let's leave the traffic screen up. There's a lot of back and forth here. Hmm. This might be a good spot for... Well, definitely a bus route. Let's drop another bus route. Uh, that just goes back and forth between these two places. Alright, so... A new line. That'll drop people off right here. That picks them up right over here add in some more stops here maybe here here and it's a really short line probably shouldn't use the freeway as much but um, I will drop in Over here, over here, and complete the line. Alright, so maybe that'll help. I don't think it will, at least not very much. Well, we can check the uh, efficacy of our first bus line. How do I do that? We can check bus depot operation, running normally. What about the bus stop itself? Is there a graphic for the bus stop? Doesn't seem to be. Alright, we've got fewer shuttered Industrial, well, no, that's not true. It's just we had zoomed out. All right, so our industrial sector is dead for some reason. Um, the industrial people are fairly satisfied. It's probably the traffic. All right, we can, we can try a new city with roundabouts. Well, not a new city. We'll expand over to this side. Or a new city with highways right from the beginning and people can just stay on the highway and get off where they need to. So like running a highway down the center, it doesn't look like there's demand for it, but that'd be an option too. Anyways, let's toss out some more residential. Um, if we're a failed industrial town, at least we can be a nice bedroom community. And we can save money by building out dirt roads. Alright, we'll do nice roads all along uh, 
the side here and we'll do dirt roads over on the side here. With the odd connection. Alright, so a bunch of residential down this way. We'll zone the entire thing. Um, leave a few spots for commercial. Let's put commercial in here and here. And all of those guys need water. And power. They had to build out at the most distant spots first. Right, we've got a busy town. We can specialize in oil. We can enact free public transportation, which might help with our traffic. We can build all sorts of new roads, including roads that have nice decorative features. We can build a real fire station, a police headquarters, and a hospital. Sweet. All right, but first, these good citizens need water. And power two, but hopefully that'll just take care of itself as people move into these spots. Or we can put in some power pylons. Thousand dollars to keep those guys happy. Fine. All right, now we want more commercial. We could put a, well, let's have a look at the traffic again. I might enact free public transportation. And if we could build like um, hmm, railways, there, there's the highway that's already on the map, but I don't see any, is that a rail line over here? Maybe it is. Like if we could hook our industry up to rail or even sea out of this little crater lake, that might be might be good. And are all these buildings empty because they're getting burnt down? Do I need let's check the fire coverage. Fire coverage is atrocious. Okay, fine. These guys deserve Okay, we've got two fire things, but I think industry deserves a real fire station. Does my budget support that? Not really. Fire safety. I wanted a fire station. I built that right here. It would have... Well, I mean, this fire station is covering the industry here. But I guess just not as much as it needs to. Space already occupied. Could build it over here, out in the middle of nowhere. Or at the end of the six lane. Alright, fine, let's build out that fire station. Needs power, apparently. How's our power doing? We're gonna need more power then. Fine, one more of these fancy wind turbines. <laughs> we could just abandon the city and build out another, uh, like just in the adjacent region on the other side of the highway. Let's look at traffic again. Um, we'll up our water budget. All right, so we'll meet all of the needs of this community and then we'll go and buy the adjacent community. Listen guys, it's not that bad. Some of these businesses are are in action again. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight abandoned buildings. We used to have like twenty. So so things are recovering. And we just built out that fire station. It's powered, so they they can go and put out that fire. 
<laughs> uh, I don't think we need to go for the nuclear option. But uh, let's build out some commercial. These guys need water. What's the problem here? Do we not have enough water capacity? Apparently not. All right, let's go build out another water pump then. What about our sewage capacity? Is that also? Yep, they're both at max. Okay, fine. Water pumping station. Right over there. Look that up. And another sewage station. Go and hook that up. Alright, so we can cut our water budget then, since we've got uh, twice the capacity. Whoa, and what's gone? What, why do we not have power? This is really bad? Power? Power is available. Did I accidentally... Ah, uh, I accidentally cut off our power here. We're gonna have to reconnect that with some power pylons. Alright, there we go. That water pumping station knocked almost most of our residential grid offline. Alright, well, these guys are now connected, so we can get rid of these pylons and build out the commercial and residential that's in demand. I think our city's fixed. Look! We don't have any more abandoned factories. But what's traffic looking like? Traffic, uh, it's not great, but it's not bad. We could look at how busy this spot is. We could definitely put a six lane down in the center of town now. All right, so we don't have to abandon uh, the city for greener pastures on the other side of the freeway just yet. Let's see, a six lane down the center a whole bunch of commercial, some more residential in here. I'm liking that. And we're uh, unlocking more buildings as we go. Although, we don't have enough cash to build out a full hospital. Or a police station. How are our schools doing? My schools are somewhere over here. I think. The Maple Residence. We've got a lot of really nice homes now, up from the bungalows we started with. Alright, so here's the high school. It's almost at capacity. It's essentially at capacity. And um, I think we only have the one elementary school. Alright, let's build up the six lane, then we'll build out another elementary school, another high school, and a whole bunch uh, more commercials. So, we're going to build a six lane down the center of town. Six lane road, and since this isn't a residential region, a six lane road with decorative trees, the decorations lower the noise pollution. All right, let's do that. Space already occupied. All right, well, while we're bulldozing people's lives, we should probably pause the game. All right, sorry guys. Um, this space is needed by the city. All right, so decorative six lane. Right down the center of town. Sure, we can go right down to here and even all the way down to here. It's only gonna be $6,000. And do we want to connect these guys up? Yes, we really should. So maybe right in the center Something like this. Or maybe on the other side. Alright. That looks kind of funny, but that's what we'll go with. Okay, unpause. Now, why anyone would choose to use this six lane? Let's follow this little bus around. 
Is that one of the buses that, uh... Oh yes, it's, it's totally one of our public transit buses. Sweet. Alright, can I click on them? Probably not when I'm constructing roads. Come back here. Alright, the bus? Do we have an easy way to follow them? I... If I'm giving anyone vertigo here, my uh, most sincere apologies. Let's see, if I just click on this link... Okay, well let's pause the game, that's probably the most rational thing to do. And then we can resume. Whoa. Still on follow mode. Rotate the camera. Alright, so people are getting picked up and dropped off. Um, the bus is at full capacity, so this bus is definitely being used. Can I add more buses to this bus line? Or, oh, there's more buses right there, so they're automatically added as needed. So we've got a nice, nicely subscribed bus line here, that's good. Cancel that out. And they're making use of the six lane that I built, so that's good. Alright, so let's build a bunch of commercial and maybe even industrial. We can build out some industrial over here again. Our city has recovered from that horrible uh, economic slump we got into by all of those traffic problems. Not that we've fixed the traffic problems in any way. In fact, we've just created a new one over here somehow. Alright, well, if we uh, provide another possible connection, maybe that'll solve or add to our problems. These guys can be commercial. <laughs> Curvy roads, no angles, keep the angles. Uh, we can't please everyone. All right, more parks. So far I think we only have the one park with a cemetery sort of counting as a park. Uh, but we can definitely do that. Let's see, a small playground. Uh, maybe not by the busy six lane, but um, we can put some playgrounds in over here. Make some people happy. Maybe drop a playground in over here too. And then what's this? Plaza with trees. Let's drop one of those over here. Yeah, yeah, everyone loves these. And a park with trees. Sure, we can have that welcoming people parking lot. Plaza with picnic tables. Uh, over here? Sure, right as people enter town they'll have an option to stop for a picnic. And what's going on here? Apparently we're running into some power problems. Sustainable energy is expensive. Um, I assume we're going to unlock some other awesome power plants at some point. A hydroelectric dam, a solar plant. Uh, but we're going to have to grow our population before we get to that. Alright, fine. One more fancy wind turbine. And drop that. Let's see. It's still good wind power. Drop that somewhere over here. <laughs> Put the schools on the sixth lane. That's an option. I mean, schools are busy places. People do want to get their kids to school as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Probably wouldn't want to do that with the elementary school. But, uh, okay, so we've got a big patch here. Let's see. And there's a demand for industrial, but we don't want to put that near the residential. Uh, we could put the six lane for industry over this way, following the contours of the Crater Lake. So that'll fulfill Massive Effect's desire for a curvy road. Let's go six lane. Wait, garbage is piling up? Seriously? I, I really want an incinerator. Alright, fine. Garbage. Maybe not all in the same place. Maybe somewhere off of the six lane. Oh man, people are not liking this garbage situation. Okay, while we debate where to put this garbage, we'll pause the game so that people don't go crazy stewing in their own filth. Okay, uh, we could just put that next to the fire station. That's probably fine. Let's just put the garbage dump right here. Maybe too close to the water though. Yeah, we don't want to put that upstream of our clean water pumps. Let's just put all the garbage dumps together. It's not the most efficient for garbage truck pathing. 
I think we'll be okay. Alright, unpause. And... Do we have recycling enacted? We do. But we're still accumulating a lot of garbage. How much will free public transport cost us? No ticket income. What's our current ticket income? We're making over $300 per whatever, per second, per day off of transit. If we gave that up, we could we could stomach that. We could enact free public transit. That might be, that could help our traffic woes. Get more people on buses, less of them driving around. All right, let's enact free public transit. And how's our water usage doing? We could also, well, up our water budget again, uh, back to oh, nearly 100%. Ooh, what's going on here? Some burnt out husks, some people needing garbage. Alright, so, the industrial region. Still lots of industrial demand, we're going to put in that six lane. It's not going to be a tree lined one, since it's not going to encounter much residential. Let's see, although we could afford some grass lined. Apparently grass reduces noise pollution as well. Alright, so this is going to be a super intersection. Um, is it best to have all the intersections in one place or to spread them over several spots? Let's just do them, well we can't do them all in one place because our fire station is in the way. Uh, we could relocate the fire station which I think is free. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Fire station. Where do I want to move this guy to? Relocate to, say, right here. Um, that could get him into traffic trouble. Let's just drop him right by the intersection. Sure, that intersection doesn't look overly busy. Um, but he needs power and water. Well, we can't have the fire station without power. And also without water. Uh, so we'll definitely need to get that hooked up. Is anyone else without water? No. Uh, these guys still need their garbage picked up, but the garbage trucks are out collecting that little backup. So that is a problem that should solve itself soon. And that'll be fine for now. Okay, so we're building our new industrial park with a six lane. That's gonna come right out of this intersection, which could potentially be a bad idea. And we're gonna make this curvy. All right, so over to here and like this. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So we've got a nice curvy six lane that will feed into our industry. Now we're going to build out our industry. <laughs> Land 202 really wants me to build a new city. He's sick, or she is sick of, of this little bit of dysfunction. Oh man, people are getting sick. Is it because of all the garbage? All right, where's my medical clinic? That medicine? Okay, so I've got one medical clinic covering this entire city. Six citizens, healthcare availability is pretty poor. We're going to need another medical clinic. We can drop it like down here. I think that'll be fine. Can we afford one? A hospital would probably be good. Give service to these wealthy river dwelling folk. And do I want a third medical clinic? No, we'll save up for the hospital. <laughs> this city looks horrible, and people really want to see a roundabout. Okay, so city part two on the other side of the freeway. We'll experiment with roundabouts, but for now, <laughs> we'll use this monstrosity, this travesty of square overpasses and stoplights. It's it's not working out so badly. Like there's a bit of a backup, but they don't sit there for too long. All right, so the industry. We'll build out the industry. And uh, is this going to be curved? Yes, it is. So straight-ish with a bit of a curve to about there. 
and we'll have the rest of, well, this guy can also be slightly curved. I don't know why uh, factories would appreciate being put on scenic curves, but um, that's what we're building for now. Hook that right up. All right, straight lines now. Um, like so. All right, and then we don't want too many connections to the sixth lane. Maybe every three blocks. Or so. All right, there. So this is going to be our new industrial park. Although they could potentially pollute this river basin here and then pollute our drinking water. What's pollution looking like? Uh, pollution, pollution. This is garbage. People aren't terribly happy with their garbage collection efficiency. Water. We're not really generating too much ugly sewage, which is nice. Pollution. Okay, so there's a bit of pollution there. If we settle right along the river, uh, we could potentially pollute the water, but settling internally I think will be fine. Alright, so industrial zones are in high demand. Let's do that. And we'll stand a little far back from the water. And we'll avoid putting industry directly on the six lane so they don't slow traffic down by um, unloading or getting access to the road directly. Well, maybe back here we can put industry right on the six lane. Ah, oh, what's with the garbage collection? Uh, we have a few traffic problem spots, lots of sick people, which isn't great. Um, how is that second clinic that I plopped down doing? So, clinic 1, clinic 2, uh, 63 out of 100 patients, 69 out of 100 patients. So we're approaching capacity again. How close am I to affording a hospital? I'm going to need 65,000 uh, simoleons. No, that's, that's the wrong franchise. $65,000 uh, of some unknown currency. I am close. So let's save up for the hospital. That, that seems like a pressing issue. I don't want uh, I don't want all of my citizens to get sick. Um, but we do also need to hook, hook our industry up with water. And a few more pipes since we have zoned a little more. Alright, that's enough for now, and we're just saving for that hospital. Another 10,000, get a hospital online. Police officers... Storage places with secure doors. Alright, how's our crime doing? Crime is fine. Fire protection. Well, these guys could use a fire station, but we're saving it for a hospital. We do have smoke detector uh, distribution mandatory. Yep, that would be fine. If we banned smoking, there'd be an increase in health, decrease in happiness, and it doesn't say anything about fire protection. So we'll let people smoke if they wish. Uh, where are all the garbage trucks? Why is no one picking up our trash? Why is no one picking up their trash? Mm hmm. 
Maybe they need a connection to the sixth lane. Ooh, we have a new building. Police headquarters. That's interesting. I don't think we have a crime problem, though. What I really want is the hospital. And we're almost there. Okay, so where do we want to drop this hospital? Um, it's the residents that need it, not the industrial. At least by the color scheming. That seems to be what it suggests. Uh, a hospital should probably be on a main thoroughfare. But these guys already have access to a clinic, whereas these guys are more distant. So we could drop the hospital like over here somewhere and eventually build the six lane out and around this way. All right, let's drop the hospital right here. All right, so everyone's really happy with that. Our health just skyrockets. Um, maybe we should lower the health budget since uh, I think our town really doesn't need to support a hospital of that size. Let's cut that down to maybe 80%, 79%. And people are having a lot of complaints about the garbage. I think I think we need not a dirt road, but a real road over here. Let's upgrade that road. And we can make it a nice looking road. Upgrade that. Bulldoze a house. Straight road down this way, sure. And we're out of money. Alright, well let's zone all of this residential. Yeah, for whatever reason, the garbage trucks are having a lot of trouble getting over here. It could be a traffic thing, or it is maybe it's just raw distance. Um, but once we have the money to build out roads, we can collect uh, connect the six lane up. In fact, what's traffic looking like? Do we have a lot of traffic in this area? Not really. Probably doesn't warrant the six lane then. And let's, do we want to upgrade this road? No, we'll leave that as a dirt road. Although, maybe they're having trouble with their garbage collection because the dirt roads are somehow less efficient for garbage collection. <laughs> ah yes, the... I don't mind if you guys give suggestions in chat, but uh, don't be sad if if I don't listen to you. <laughs> Thanks, Lukiva. Leave Primeval alone. Okay, so we've got more commercial demand. We can go drop more commercial beside that six lane. And these guys need water. Not quite. Alright, so we've got more space for another residential commercial combo, and we've got a major garbage problem. When do I get the incinerator? At 7500, we're almost there. Um, hmm, we could put an incinerator somewhere over here. Yeah, that seems like a good plan, and then we'll draw a road connecting all the way over here and hopefully that'll fix some of our garbage distribution problems. So we'll unlock incinerators soon. There is a mod that uh, lets you play with all of the buildings unlocked. Our people are really unhappy with this garbage situation and understandably so. Do they want a curvy road? Just for massive effects, we'll build a curvy road here. And why not a curvy road here too? Yeah, 
and the interior will uh, stock with dirt roads. Yeah, like that. Alright, pick those up. Alright, all residential. Well, we'll leave a couple spots for some uh, convenience stores, maybe grocery stores. 